In this video, we are going to discuss about the data science algorithms which we can write and uh, basically use in Tableau. So, uh, I hope you all know that Tableau is a data visualization tool that helps us to create the different types of visualizations which we have been done, which we have done um, throughout the course of all these videos up till now. Okay. Now the thing is that um, data science is not just only about visualizations, it is a, a big field which incorporates visualization as its part. So the basic concept in data visualization is that you get the data, you first need to work on it, clean it, then you need to create visualizations out of it to find out that what kind of data you have and on the basis of those visualizations, you try to find out some trends in data and using those trends, you try to predict the future um, or try to classify the data or anything that is uh, required. Okay, So this is the whole process of data science. So for the visualization part, Tableau can be used, but it can also be used with a few simple tricks for a part that is the prediction part or the creation of the machine learning models right so how is it gonna be used for that this is what we will be seeing from these video onwards we would be covering a bunch of algorithms that are really simple so even if you don't have any experience or any background of data science then also it would be very easier for you to understand them so let's start with this video. In this video we are going to work with uh, the iris data set and uh, it is actually a really uh, famous data set in the field of data science. Why is it so? Let us learn more about it by googling it. So we just go to Google and simply just write Iris data set. Uh, we can go to its Wikipedia page to learn more about it. Here. So this Iris uh, flower data set is actually a data set that was um, built in the year 1936 and the reason why is it so popular is because it is uh, considered one of the best accumulated data sets. It has four things or the four um, you can say data or parameters that is the petal length, petal width, sepal length and sepal width all in centimeters as written over here and using those four criteria the flowers or the samples or the data set is converted or is categorized into three categories that is iris sedosa, iris virginica and iris versicolor. So these are the images of all of these. Uh, you can just take a look at them. Total there are 150 records, 50 for each species that is the sedosa, virginica and versicolor. Okay. Uh, so this is the data set we would be using and we would be trying to predict the data. As you can see, uh, we can use the simple code of uh, the languages like R and Python to uh, work with it like this. But what we are going to do is we are not going to use any of the coding languages. We are going to simply use our Tableau to work with this data set. So first of all, what we need to do is we need to download our data set. So what we can do is we can just write iris data set csv file. The first link you would be getting is of Kaggle. You can just go to Kaggle. For those of you who don't know about Kaggle, it is a website that is considered very good for the uh, data science enthusiasts. Uh, you can just work on it. It's just like um, a really important website where you can post your code, where you can discuss about the solutions you are given tasks that you can solve and you would also be uh, given an opportunity to get a large number of data sets. So this is a data set as you can see this whole data set but it is also available for download we can click on this download button and save it in this documents folder since archive is also already there so I am just going to name it as iris data set click on save so it's been downloaded let's open it up now what we have is the csv file so let's just extract it to the specified folder and this folder is going to be the one the same one actually which we got uh that is our documents folder right so this is the documents folder i'm gonna click ok once that's been extracted let's close this and let's open up our folder here is the documents folder. Yeah. So this is the iris that has been extracted, right? So we can open it up. 
and uh, these are the records that we are getting that is uh, let me just expand them all the id sepal length in centimeter sepal width in centimeter petal length in centimeter petal width in centimeter and the species if you just go down so there are a total of 150 records uh, by id the first one is the headings so that doesn't count total of 150 records are there right 50 each so this is our file let's go to tab blue and um, connect to the data uh, that is in the form of a microsoft excel file so we can go to the documents so here we don't have any iris right because if you remember that was a csv file so there are two ways you can work with it either you can just go to all files and here you would find this iris you can click on open but this would throw an error because uh, the tableau public that i'm using the csv files are not supported with it so you cannot directly import csv files into tableau public right so how would you work in this case what you need to do is go to your excel here go to file click on save as select the folder the same folder i'm using make sure the name is same or you can just give it like iris excel so that to differentiate between the two and here just save it as an excel workbook just change its type to excel workbook click on save close it now if we just connect to data and select microsoft excel then iris excel is present we can click on open and that's it our data set has been loaded so that's how you are going to going to work with in the case of the csv files with tableau public because it doesn't support uh, so much connections as was supported by tableau desktop in case you have tableau desktop with you then of course you can use uh, that tableau desktop uh, and directly csv files will be loaded now uh, this is a data set what i'm gonna do is i don't need this id column because it's just the numbering so i'm just gonna hide it I have these five columns that I'm going to work with. So let's go to sheet one. And this sheet one is going to be the actual data. Now, what do you mean by actual data? That means that how are we going to generate the data out of um, the values or the data set? Okay. We are not using any machine learning algorithm right now, but we are just trying to generate a scalar plot out of the data okay so there are two ways we can uh, do that first is actual data on the basis of the petal so i'm just going to rename it that is actual data petal and the second sheet i'm going to create is on the basis of the sepals right so actual data sepal the reason why i'm doing this is because i want to know that out of the petal length Petal width and sepal and sepal width, which is a better measure to find out the species of the flowers. Okay, so for this, I have created two sheets. First of all, let's work with petal sheet. So, in this, we would be getting the petal length in the columns and petal width in the rows. Okay. So this kind of a scatter chart is created uh, because this is aggregated one. Of course, you don't want aggregation right here. So you can go to analysis and make sure aggregate measures has been cleared out. So this is the whole data, right? That means the petal width and the petal length in the scatter plot for the different species. But we don't know what different species are here, right? For us, the whole data is in blue color. Luckily, we have this column called species we can just drag it into the colors column and here we have different uh, clusters present over here right blue orange and red color clusters now what is the significance of these clusters how are we gonna use them to predict the data or how are we gonna design a machine learning algorithm this is all we will see in the next video